Hey everyone, Forrest here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to back up your Windows computer as quickly and easily as possible. Let's dive in. This video is going to feature the Windows 7 Backup and Restore tool. I use it to back up both of my Windows machines. I've had no issues with it and it's worked perfectly. And since it's already installed on all of your computers, I think it's by far the most convenient to get set up. And I find that when it comes to backing stuff up, convenience is more important because a lot of people will just skip the job if it's hard to do it. So the first thing that you're gonna need is an external hard drive or a NAS or some sort of device that you wanna send the backup to. What's important though is that you want the capacity of your backup drive to be about two to four times that of your internal drive. So if you're wondering how big that is, you can head into File Explorer, go to your This PC section, and just take a look at how big your C drive is. In this case, I have a one terabyte C drive, one terabyte internal hard drive, so I would want my backup drive to be between two and four terabytes. Once I connect this external hard drive, I like to format it. You don't have to do this, but I really recommend it as it takes any of the kind of manufacturer software that may have been included with your external hard drive and it wipes it clean and gets it ready for use. Now do note that formatting erases all of the data. So don't format a hard drive that has information on it that you need for something else. In order to format a drive, you can just simply go to this PC Go ahead and open that up. And then I can right click on the external hard drive that I'd like to format, go to format. I'm gonna make sure that the file system is set to NTFS. And then I'm gonna give this drive a name. In this case, I'm gonna call it computer backup. I'm gonna be sure quick format is checked and I'm gonna click on start. Now this is gonna give us another warning. Hey, you're deleting all the data, so don't proceed if you don't wanna lose that information. In this case, this is an empty drive, so I'm just gonna click okay. All right, now that we have the drive formatted, let's get into the backup and restore tool. The easiest way to find this is to go to your start menu and just start typing. In this case, I'm gonna type in control panel and we wanna open up the system control panel. Once we're inside of control panel, you may have to go over here to the upper right and change it from category to large or small icons. That'll give us a list of all of the control panel tools. And you should see in that list, backup and restore parentheses Windows 7. This is the tool that we're gonna be using to create the backup. Now, if you've never set up a backup before with this computer, you should see Windows backup has not been set up and there's a setup backup button. And that's exactly what we wanna use here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. It's gonna search my computer for any external hard drives and it's gonna start up the utility. Once it starts, you should see a list of all the external hard drives connected to your computer. In this case, it found the computer backup drive and it's recommending that we use it, which is perfect. I will say, if you wanna save a backup to a NAS or a network attached storage device, you can do that with the save on network button right here. In this case, I'm just gonna select that computer backup drive and click on next. Next, we have a choice. We can either let Windows choose which files and folders we'd like to back up, or we can choose. For all my machines, I do the let Windows choose option as this backs up all of our libraries, the desktop, the default Windows folders, and it even makes a system image that we could restore this computer later on if we needed to. However, if you wanna include or exclude specific files, you can go to the let me choose and have additional options. I'm gonna leave it on let Windows choose and click on next. And here it's gonna give us a little synopsis of what it's gonna do. It's gonna back up all user information and it's gonna make a system image. But more importantly, we have the option to change or turn on and off the scheduling system. Now do note that if you use a laptop computer and you schedule the backup, but your computer's off and the backup drive isn't connected, the schedule's not gonna do anything for you. So inside of these scheduling options, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the schedule turned on and I'm gonna do a daily backup at 9 a.m. And then as long as I leave this backup drive connected and my computer is on, which it normally is at 9 a.m. when I'm working, I'm gonna know that my computer is gonna be backing up automatically to that drive. Now, if you don't wanna schedule it, that's fine too. I'll show you guys at the end of this video how you can manually trigger the backup if you just wanna remind yourself every month or so to back up your computer. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK, and then I'm gonna go ahead and say Save Settings and Run Backup. And that is gonna immediately start the backup process to that external hard drive. Now in the future, this is where we're gonna go to manage our backup. And you'll notice right now it's grayed out, but there is a backup now button in here. So if in the future you don't wanna schedule your backup and you just wanna remember backup once a month, backup every couple weeks, whatever it is for you, just remember every month or so, connect that external hard drive, open up the backup and restore tool, come in and click backup now, and that will manually trigger the backup. 
One other thing I like to do with this backup tool is go back here. I'm gonna hit the up arrow to get back to the control panel. And then I like to right click on the backup and restore tool and select either create shortcut, pin to start, or pin to quick access. The idea is that this tool is something that you check in on every once in a while. And I, I can say I've been using this tool on two computers for what, about five or six years, and it's worked flawlessly for me. But that doesn't mean I don't check on it routinely and make sure that my backup is running. I will also point that if you do go into the backup and restore tool, there's this really cool view details button where you can actually see the exact files that it's backing up and get a real progress bar. But you all, that's all there is to it. You get yourself an external hard drive, we go in here to back backup and restore and we configure the backup settings. And then from there, you just gotta schedule it. And then you just gotta make sure that your computer is on, that that drive is connected when the scheduled time arrives, or just set yourself a reminder for every month or so to plug in your external hard drive and run this utility. So take the time, get this set up and make sure that your computer is fully backed up. All right, everybody, that sums up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, drop a like down below in the corner, hit subscribe to stay up to date with future videos. And if you have any questions or comments, or maybe you wanna share your favorite backup utility, let me know down in the comments. Thanks everybody, and I hope to see you in a future video.